the lobster is uh, they're quite fascinating actually I, because they've survived the prehistoric ages I suppose by the looks of them they're quite incredible creatures you know spiny um, four legs um, two great big claws at the front you know big spiky horns they can grow up to five and a half six kilo a big one I suppose they're probably the uh, jewel of seafood really at the end of the day they're not everybody has access to them. Um, they are tightly controlled under, under quotas. Um, obviously it's quite dangerous catching them, so not everybody wants to go looking for them. Um, but they're yeah, beautiful eating, you know, beautiful eating product. So. My name's uh, Aaron Whittle. I've been a lobster fisherman for approximately 30 years. The water is so clean and, and cold and the seafood from here is just beautiful tasting because of that. South Australian rock lobster is the most valuable fishery in the state. Uh, we have employment of about 1,300 full-time jobs. I mean, it turns over about half a billion dollars a year. It's a renewable resource and it's a sustainable resource. So for South Australian communities, coastal communities, and obviously, you know, the city gets some profit out of that too. Uh, it's, it's, it's huge, you know, not just the South Australian lobster, but all the other states, Western Australian, Tasmanian, and even East Coast lobster is worth you know, quite a bit of money now, so they're very valuable fisheries. I'm quite heavily involved in the management of the fishery and the science is scrutinised very heavily. You know? Look, we want to see sustainable fisheries, you know, whether it be lobster, whether it be whatever, you know? so we want it there for, for future generations too. So I, I think um, we've sort of got the balance quite, quite right. Um, I definitely like to see lobsters left in the water and some, you know, for next year and the year after and, and many generations and years to come.